it was about time it came back was the main thing. As soon as you hear that we're going to play real town again, it's on then. We was at school, we you know heard, okay, we're going to be able to um, play, and I mean, it was exciting. Rusty Smith, you know, he, he actually was playing on the other side of the ball that night along with several other my friends. Big thing I remember from the 96 game, obviously we was pumped up to play, but Adam Clayton. You know, I went to Real Town and then in the 10th grade transferred back to Tallahassee. He was at Real Town like I was and then he transferred Real Town to Tallahassee. It's difficult at times, you know, leaving friends uh, in Real Town to come to Tallahassee, but I had a lot of friends in Tallahassee too. You know, part of our prep talk was, you know, talking about Adam and, you know, how he left us. Definitely a different dynamic in my case, but I enjoyed my time at Real Town as well as the Tallahassee. We were pumped up to play him, which is kind of ironic since I was in the same boat the next year. But um. And then when my youngest son decided to move to Tallahassee and to have the death threats, the phone calls, it was kind of annoying. Peter was the running back, and I had to hear from his mouth and my dad. You know, at one time he was a star running back over there at Real Town. He transferred and came came to Tallahassee to play play with me and, and our other cousins. Uh, and for his dad, you know, his, his dad was the was the principal. You know, it meant a lot to him too. I love my brother. I believe blue, white, and gray. It was tough on him to not have the friends that he grew up with uh, by his side after the game and it just wasn't to be kind of you kind of torn because like i said i'm from real time i played there i went to school there wanted him to do well didn't want him to beat real time at that one moment man it was like going in a battle and you know it, it didn't matter who we played coming through the spirit line and busting you know busting through the pipe being a football player at that time you know no matter how big how small you are you always got a chance we probably had 25, 26 ball players on the whole team. I was young. I was in 10th grade. The best I can remember about that game, just so many people. Okay, you're at home, man. You know, you fight a little harder at home. And obviously, we got punched in the face early in that game. We wasn't able to recover. I ended up having a great game, intercepting a pass early, and thought I was going to be able to break loose. The boys were ready. And Carl, Carl Stewart, man, Carl Stewart, I would be the beat. Carl Stewart was a beast when he was at real time. Fun to jump out like that on top of them and, you know, show our dominance right off the bat, I guess. It was a little bit in intimidating, but like I said, you always got a chance. And I kicked me on a, on a slant pattern, broke loose across the middle, and that's uh, you know, definitely one of my fondest memories in high school. When you come into Tallahassee, you know, you, you got to be ready to play football, especially this game right here. But I just remember, uh, it was devastating, man. We were able to put the game away fairly quickly. We come up a little short on that night. I never lost a real town. No.